Ron. Hello, Dennis. <laughs> Nip is competing in the big dog show in the park. You want to enter Nasha too? I don't know, Gran. Dog shows aren't really Nasha's thing. <laughs> There'll be lots of other dogs there. <coughs> nah, he still doesn't fancy it. It's sponsored by Butch Butcher. There's a load of sausages for the winner. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a yes, then. <laughs> Dennis, this is the competitor's entrance. Yeah, so? Well, I hardly think your mass is fit to compete. <laughs> All this other mongrel. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, check these out. Official entry forms for Nasha and Nipper. <sighs> Honestly, they're letting in any old riff-raff these days. Now that's more like it. Look at Miss Miniwoof. Just the kind of classy dog we want in the show. Uh, uh, hello, Athena. Uh, hello, Miss Miniwoof. <laughs> oh, Walter, can't you get rid of those creatures? Cheek. Who do they think they are? Exactly. Oh, come on, Walter. Let us in. I suppose I'll have to. But keep those two away from the other pedigree contestants. We don't want them all catching fleas. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the talent section of the show to be judged by the mayor, Mrs. Creature, and of course our sponsor, Butch Butcher, purveyor of Beano Town's finest sausages. Please welcome our first competitor, Mrs. Bonzilla Barkington Wagstaff and Los Chihuahuas Bonzilleros. <laughs> right, Nasha and Nipper. Talent? Ooh, let me see. Uh, dirt magnets? <laughs> They've got plenty of talent. They're going to wipe the floor with the other dogs. <laughs> Judging by their appearance, it looks as if you've wiped the floor with them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way they look. Hmm, well, it's my job to marshal the contestants. Any infringement of the rules by these two, and they'll be out. Los <laughs> Chihuahuas Bancelleros, ladies and gentlemen. They scored nine out of ten for pedigree in the first round. And I'd give them at least eight for originality. Don't you think, Mr Butcher? Oh, um, uh, I think they must have been too small to see. That's what chihuahuas are, Mr Butcher. Very small. No, I mean, uh, I've lost my glasses. Oh, uh, I had them a minute ago. Good luck, Athena. And you, Miss Miniwoof. I hope you win. And now the height of fashion, Athena Kane and Miss Miniwoof. <clears throat> You're very stylish, I think you'll agree. Wow, major talent. They can both walk without falling over. <laughs> Miss Miniwolf scored nine for pedigree. I'll uh, I'll give her six for talent. And switch. <laughs> what Nasha? That's awesome. <laughs> Standing on hind legs. Hmm. I'm not sure that's allowed. Oh, give it a rest, Walter. I'm keeping an eye on you. I loved your act, Athena. Uh, so chic. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. We'll show those snooty dog owners a thing or two. <laughs> Say hello to Beano Town's favourite policeman, Sergeant Slipper, and his canine cop, Biter. Biter is a highly trained law enforcement specialist. <laughs> at, uh, at the north end of the field, you will see Constable Coughdrop. 
posing as a dangerous uh, criminal perpetrator type villain. Now, watch as Biter makes the arrest. Go, boy! Apprehend that suspicious person. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's the perpetrator. <laughs> Even you're more obedient than Biter. <laughs> Pedigree was in order, but zero for talent, I think. No, I, 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 I didn't really get a good look. Um, oh. That's because you were facing the wrong way, Mr Butcher. And now our final competitors, Nipper and uh, Nasha. <laughs> They'll probably just be chasing their own tails. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Think of the sausages. <laughs> well, Gran, if you ask me, Nasha and Nipper have the talent show in the bag. <laughs> oh, my goodness. These beastly creatures might actually win. <sighs> There must be some rule against motorbike riding. Uh, oh, yes. Marvellous idea, Athena. By gosh, I, I do I do believe you're right. That motorised vehicle is exceeding the speed limit. Biter, arrest those lawbreakers. <laughs> This is not good, Gran. Not good at all, Dennis. <gasps> My poor little babies! <laughs> I knew you'd make a mockery of everything. You and your scruffy mutt! Chill out, Walter. It's only a dog show. Yes. Well, all the other dogs have got proper pedigrees. So luckily, you've got no chance of winning. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the Best in Show trophy, which has been kindly presented by Mr Butch Butcher. Oh, I wish I had my glasses. Oh. Here they are, Mr. Butcher. Remember, best in show goes to the dog with most points for talent and pedigree. Under consideration are... Police Dog Biter, Los Chihuahuas Bouncy Leros, Nasher and Nipper, and finally, Miss Miniwolf. And the winner is... Miss Miniwolf! <laughs> I knew we would do it, my poochie witchy. class of dog. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Uh, now I've found my glasses, I can see the entry form. It says here that Nasha is an Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Really? A tripe hound? The rarest breed of all? Well, that's different. Uh, bring your dog up here, boy. What? Why is that different? If you groomed your dog up occasionally, we would have seen he's a very special breed. Of course he's special. He's my best mate. But that dog has no talent. Well, uh, not just your best uh, mate, but also I'm delighted to announce he's the best in show. <laughs> Rage. Come on, sweetie. We don't need this stupid dog show anyway. I don't believe it. This has to be some kind of mistake. Rage up, Masha. You rule. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
All right, Nasha, you asked for it. This. This. <laughs> A big, mean-looking fish. Oh, are we going fishing? Kind of. But if it was that easy, somebody else would have caught it by now. So what are we going to do, Dennis? Listen and learn, Curly. Listen and learn. Up to. We're going to catch a fish. Not any old fish. The legendary pike of Beano Town Lake. Yeah, the legendary pike. Uh, pike. Legendary pike, eh? Walter, how does it feel to be the man who caught the legendary pike of Beano Town Lake? I just want to help science in any way I can. <laughs> When the pike comes to the edge of the lake, I'm going to tickle it like this. <laughs> Fish love it. It hypnotises them or something. I saw this man do it on TV. <laughs> and how are we going to get the pike over here? Here's the genius part. I've borrowed the fishmonger's sign and a bit of mum's makeup and. Ta da! A lovely ladyfish. Have I overdone the lipstick? Here, fishy. Kissy, kissy. Here it comes. I thought the monster fish of Beano Town Lake was just a legend. Me too, Bertie. But Dennis claims to have seen it. We can't let that menace catch it. Exactly, Dudley. If anyone catches that fish, it's going to be me. I shall become famous as the boy who caught the legendary monster. <laughs> Can stop it. 
up a cannonball kick. It should be strong enough to hold a pike. What are we going to use as bait? A clothes peg? Oh, not that. These! Uh, what? The stinky old fish? Very old, very stinky. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Nasher. You swim out there with the fish and we'll throw the net over the pike when he appears. Go on, boy! Good boy! There he is! Throw the net! Off it, Curly. It's only a fish. Actually, I'm impressed. You know, it could be one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that music coming from? Oh, no. Keep it up, chaps. Your soothing music will send the fish to sleep. And then... <coughs> hey, presto! The pike will be my ticket to fame and fortune. Fame and fortune? What's he talking about, Den? I reckon Walter's planning to put the pike on show. In an exhibition or something. Oh, no, that'll be terrible. Everyone gawping at him. I know, Curly. We've got to stop him. And I think I know the way to do it. Come to me, my fishy friend. <laughs> oh, ha! Here he comes. Uh, keep playing, boys. This is one drowsy fish. OK. Uh, hold steady. Uh, heave -ho! What is that? You wouldn't want that in your exhibition. <laughs> here, over here. Here's your legendary pike. Come and get her. <laughs> hey, that's not a pike. It's not even a real fish. We've been tricked. <laughs> you bosser! We thought there really was a fish. I knew it was too good to be true. I'm going to tell the fishmonger you took his sign. <sighs> the legendary pike of Beano Town Lake can remain a legend. Come on, lads! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm glad we didn't catch him. <laughs> Still on escape. 
great ball, Dennis. Shame your parents can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. <laughs> Let's test the rocket overdrive, Masher. I suppose you think that's funny, do you? Oh, oh, I, I, oh. oh no! But Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, there must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize giving soon. Prize giving? Yes. Where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change... You get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here. I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please. Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs. Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. Oh! Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get this skateboard? Good behaviour's the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> Huh. You never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? Oh. Might one carry all the leaves for you, Mrs Creature? No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize-giving today, but old Creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No, 
all doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, oh, boys. I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the Best Behaviour Prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! Come on, Walter. It's starting. I can't go in. It's too humiliating. Hang on. That's Dennis's dog. Excellent! If I'm not getting that prize, neither is Dennis! Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Arthur Guff, Beano Town's most distinguished manufacturer of plastic coated string. <coughs> If life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <coughs> now, many people will tell you that string has no personality. Eh? Nothing could be further from the truth. Dennis, hand that dog over this instant. What? No, miss, please. Oh, I might have known this was all too good to be true. Hand him over now, or there's no prize. So, I always tie a piece of string to my big turn. I remember string for my birthday. What's happening? Bring that dog here! Oh. in 60 years! Here, this is my special prize for outstanding individual achievement. And it goes to Dennis. Proud of you, Dennis. This is the happiest day of our lives. And we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. Oh, thanks very much, dear. Bit chewy. Oh, 
The mission hasn't gone wrong. Don't worry, Curly will be here. <gasps> Made it. Did you get it? From my dad's DVD collection. Invasion of the Cosmic Space Slugs. Fantastic! We've got to watch it now! That? What? The cracks in the pavement? No, the floor that was growing there. What's the rush this time, Dennis? Alien invaders! <laughs> Science fiction? <laughs> I am an alien! Oh, baby! <laughs> Honestly, why waste your life watching nonsense about things that don't exist? So what are you doing that's better? Something useful, unlike you. I'm cataloguing every known variety of Beano Town wildflower. So there. Ah! Run, bud! Oh, it's horrible! Oh, protect you, Brenda. No giant gastropod is gonna get my girl. We play this earth for the cosmic space land. Uh, hey, wouldn't it be cool to make a real space alien movie? Yeah, great idea, Curly. We could borrow me dad's new camcorder. But won't we need costumes and props and stuff? We sure will. <laughs> Commander Danger is here to save. So, you're the star of this movie? The star and director. What's it going to be called, then? Uh, Dende versus the Spider Dog and uh, Pie Tin Monster from the Moon of a Menacing Five. Ready, set, go! Oh, uh, hang on, Den. It's not in focus. No alien menace will get past Dende! Ah, did you get that? Uh, can we do a take two then? <sighs> Meow. Hang on, what was that? An alien robot meow. Aliens don't meow, they growl. How do you know? Have you ever heard an alien growl? Oh, try again. Go for it! <laughs> Result! That's it for Dende Space Station. Now we need to find an alien landing place. Oh. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Isenthoides non scriptus. Hmm, a common bluebell. <gasps> <gasps> How careless! Strange footprints. Somebody needs to be told to watch their step. Uh, it still looks like a playhouse to me. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've still got to add me special effect. Here, Nasha. <laughs> In you go, Pie Face. This is where the aliens appear for the first time. Uh, what do I say, Den? This planet is ours for the taking. Got it. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. And go, Pie Face! Go, Nasha! Oh, my goodness! It, it, it can't be, can it? A spaceship? Monster. This taking is ours for the 
planet. Ah! Aliens do exist. And they're invading Beano Town. I must warn humanity. Ah! This planet is ours for the taking. From me. Wait. Aliens! I've seen them, I tell you! Eh? What? Aliens, you say? Yes! Look! This taken is ours for the planet! Robot aliens? Spider creatures! And I just made myself a cup of tea, and I saw this giant silver man walk past my kitchen window! I mean, if I could just call you back. Here. No, it were terrible. Scared the living daylights out of me. I was just taking me pie out of the oven and this flying saucer swooped down and stole me wheelie bin. Oh, I nearly dropped me pie, I did. Oh, have you seen them too? Oh, I don't know where they're from. I'll be there as, uh, as soon as I can. Oh. Did they? Did they really? Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. Those fairies at the bottom of the garden told me this would happen. They did. Oh, no. We're all going to be turned into green vegetables. It's not the end of the world! Well, uh, the space aliens have arrived, people, so uh, here's a track to mark the uh, end of the world, all right? Aliens! Oh, cool! Ginger won't let you invade his planet! OK, OK, we surrender, Den! <laughs> and cut! So, that's it, then? I guess. Although a big disaster scene with loads of extras would make it mega special. Run for your lives. This is preposterous. What's going on? It's the end of the world! Aliens are invaded! Uh, there's one of them! Ah! Oops. Are we in trouble? Brilliant! What? This is great! Put your helmets back on and chase people! It'll look fantastic! <sighs> OK, if you say so. Right, uh, yeah, yeah. you lot stay here, uh, and uh, I I'm going in. Let me come with you, Sergeant. No, Constable. This, uh, uh, this is something I have to do alone. Oh, be careful, Sergeant. What is it, then? What have you found? Glow sticks I in a playhouse. Oh, do you realise your little hoax has caused widespread panic? But I thought I was sure I... Really, Walter, I expect better from you. Very poor show. But... 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 I, I want a handwritten apology to every resident of Beano Town. On my desk, first thing. Yes, Mrs Creature. Lesson, it's homework time. 
and I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, a pie making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs. Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. No, no wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Nasha, but we're still short of a few vital parts. Ah, just that ticket. Speak and span. What? Who? How? Dennis! So, uh, finished making your robot yet, Walter? Actually, I sent my design to a friend of Father's. His factory people built it for me. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. He's arrived. Dennis, meet Walter Bolt. A pile of junk. Wait till you see my robot. Hey, Denbot! Interesting. What do you think, Walter Bot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good, but what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden and household chores, from digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Dembot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp. Easy peasy. Wow. That's cool. Dembot rock. Denbot rocks. That is so not cool, Denbot. Look at my car. You can count yourself grounded forever. Me? What was that? Allow me to present Walterbot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Pause. Finished. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped-up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> This is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete task! Your 
robot caused all the... Hey, what was that? It's Morgan Bot! He's all right! No way! That's Denbot! Oh, no! It's a horrible mixture of the two! It's... it's a Walter Denbot! You mean a Den Walter Bot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school is good! School is good! School is good, eh? It takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to treehouse. Have fun. No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. We've got to stop it. I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry. I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get Pieface and meet me there. And bring your science projects. Going on, Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, Pie Face, and you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie Face, load your pie-making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Me down. They work! They actually work! Oh, a bit too well. We've got him on the run, Dan! Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. <laughs> Must go to school. <gasps> it's locked. There's only one way out of here. And guess what's blocking it? Your stupid robot. My robot? Your robot started it. No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom. Treehouse. You are a complete philosophy. You are a total swap. Ignoramus. Twist. Sus. Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too. And I've got a reputation to think of. Stop moaning, Walter. If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher. 